Can you tell me what happened when you went into the village? Okay, so this this is it. It's a village of about maybe less than 200 people, and it's, it's a very poor village. And they have nothing. You see the kids just running around, no clothes, no shoes, nothing. But the funny thing is that they own a very big land, but they don't know what to do with the land. So I met with the chief of the village, and uh, I just had some discussions with him, and I was like, okay, why don't you allow me to do some farming project on the land? And I'm going to get the boys in the village involved. And we're going to do some farming. And as we do it and we sell the product, we can use some of the money to start building some school here for the children, to get the children some clothes and all those things, and also to help the women to start some petty petty trading so they can start making some money. And the chief was so excited. I mean, she didn't even know what to do. And she was like, I can take the whole land if I want. You know, so right now when I came back to the U.S., I met with some few friends. And then we did some rough estimation and we realized that uh, roughly we're going to need about $20,000, $25,000 to do that in the village. So that is another thing that um, I'm also working on to go and start that thing in that village for them. And I believe that once we get into it, once we are able to finish it, we go on to the next village, then to the next village, then to the next village. How far away is this village from where you want to produce the aggregate? Um, maybe two hours by road. Two hours, so pretty close. Yeah, it's, it's not too far. Okay. Mm. And now, could some of the, the, the kids, I want to say, when they become young adults, can they help grade the rock and run oh, the machines yes, and stuff? that's right. And they will be so excited to do it. So now you you're you're currently care for forty eight children. That's right. I have forty eight children in Ghana right now that I'm fully responsible. I'm I'm a father to them. They are That's feeding, right. their accommodation, they are clothing, they are schooling, mm -hmm. everything. Right now I have to send money to because uh, about five or six of them their their lease is expired and I have to go and renew the lease for their ah, Okay. Yeah. So so you so with your aggregate company and then also with Ghana Grit. Uh, eventually, the, the people who back this project are helping to support these uh, orphans. That's right. That's right. They're helping to make life better for these people. And, um, and I mean, if you need to see these kids. When you see them, yeah. even though they are living in poverty, but you can see greatness. They sure. are very smart kids, just that they need help. Hmm. You know, they just need help. They need somebody to be a father to them. And, and that's, that is what I have committed myself to doing. Well, so what about, what is the need? I mean, so, you know, there's a big concern about plastic waste, That's right. about landfill. So products like Ghana Grit mm -hmm. that eliminate and dramatically reduce waste in the landfills and That's also right. reduce um, load on the recycling system are, is something that Americans and people all over the world need and want right now to help make the planet a cleaner place. So how does, how does the aggregate uh, from Ghana help fit into this? Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's going to really help, it's going to fit into it in a way that um, as, as we get into this thing, um, most of these uh, plastics and all those things that are, that are always a waste there and the government doesn't even have a means of taking care of it. Uh, I think we're going to help reduce all this to it because we are going to turn it into, into products that is needed. You know, and also make money from it to help some of these poor communities. Hmm. That makes sense. But Ghana is an economy that's that's rising very quickly. It's an exciting time in Ghana. That's right. Yeah, it is. It is. But you see, if, if you go to Ghana right now, the the funny thing is that even though the the the, the, the country is developing very fast, uh, money is being circulated, but um, sadly, it, it the money is circulating in the hands of just about ten to fifteen. people percent of the population. Ah, uh, yeah. So, you know, so that's so, interesting. So this is a way of bringing a company to be owned essentially by regular people. Regular people. Okay. Not that's giant right. companies in uh, France no, no, and no, no, no. giant companies in the United States. Uh, and, and, no. Regular people. Okay. We yeah. just want to affect their lives in a positive way. Okay. It sounds like a good plan. Mm, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thanks for talking. This thank has been you. a very good video. Thank